Hello, my name is Matt Ware, and today in this how-to, I'm going to be showing you how to manage the SAS work folder on Microsoft Windows Server. Specifically, we're going to cover a number of things. We're going to talk about what the purpose is for SAS's work folder, why it's important to manage the work folder. We're going to discuss the tools that SAS supplies to manage the folder and how to use the tools that Windows supplies in conjunction with SAS's tools to manage the folder. So we're going to begin at the end. What you see on the screen right here is the combination of SAS's tool inside of the Windows tool. Specifically what I mean is as you can see we have the disk cleanup utility. This is something that Microsoft provides in Windows Server. It's something that is not enabled by default, so we're going to walk through how to enable that. And after you've done an install of SAS, SAS has an add-on for the disk cleanup utility that you can see right here that manages SAS temporary files. So before we dive into that, let's talk about the purpose of the SAS work folder. Well, quite simply, SAS writes out a lot of temporary files as users do their normal processing. Now these are files that are transient in nature. They're not intended to hang around forever. They're there to support sorts and summaries and other kinds of procs and data steps. So why do we need to manage this folder? Well, quite simply, if this folder gets unwieldy and consumes all of the disk space allocated to it, it can cause not only SAS programs to crash and users' data to be lost, but if you go with the default location for the SAS work folder, it's going to be on the C drive, which means you can crash your server. So that is definitely not a good thing, and we want to avoid that. Now, we know what the purpose is of the work folder. We now also know why it's important to manage it. So let's dive into where is the SAS work folder. The way you find that out is you take a look down in the location where SAS is installed. Specifically, we're looking uh, not for the configuration location, but the SAS home location. So let me take you up to the C drive. This is a, a best practice that I've implemented where I store the SAS binary files in the SAS home 94 location. All the configuration files go here in the config 94 location. And then this other location is where I put things like JUnit. So you can look in the SAS home 94 and then down under SAS foundation 9.4. And if you scroll to the bottom here, this is a little bit like a, a treasure hunt, you'll find this SAS v9 config. You take a look at it with Notepad and you see, oh, based on the language that you've picked, this is where the actual config file lives. So let's take a look at that location. I'm going to come up to NLS, English, and sure enough, here's the config file. Now, this config file has a work location in it by default. The default location is C colon backslash windows slash temp slash SAS temporary files, which in my opinion is a very bad location for it. It's there because it's one that can always work in the default installation of, of SAS on Windows. But since it's on the C drive, like I said earlier, if this folder, which doesn't have any kind of limits to it, fills up, you just filled up your C drive, which can crash the server and your SAS. Uh, your SAS job, so we want to avoid that. So my recommendation is to edit this file by simply putting in here at the very top a dash work and a location where you want to put the work folder. Now what I have here is a D drive that has been created for the explicit purpose of managing the SAS work folder. You can do uh, optimizations of the uh, the hardware that sits behind this location. If you, if you can get very fast disks, that would be greatly appreciated by your users to help speed up SAS processing. If you can get a lot of disks 
to put behind this that would be great the larger the SAS folder the the better so based on the utilization of your your system you can make some good estimates as to how much disk space to allocate to this but in this day and age disk is cheap it's better to have too much than not enough so pick a location where you can put a lot of disk so with this taken care of the next thing that needs to be done to your installation is to tell SAS to restart and utilize this location. So in Windows, what we do is we head over to the services area. And as you can see, this is a very basic installation. We only have four SAS items, three of which are running. So you restart the three that are running. And as you should know, you always stop and restart the metadata server in in the best order, meaning you stop the metadata server last and you start it first. So by going through the process of stopping and restarting these services, we can then go to our new SAS folder on our D drive and lo and behold we see there is a work folder here. Now the more users you have running things, the more these folders are going to exist. So Seeing one out here is great because we just have the metadata server running and it's using this location. Okay, so now that we've found and actually rerouted our SAS work folder, great. How do we configure SAS and Windows to utilize the tools to clean this folder out? The way we do that is here using Server Manager you want to go to your manage you want to add roles and features we do next and next and next and this is the tricky part you're looking for this section right here user interfaces and infrastructure and you want to install desktop experience this is what includes the cleanup utility so you go through the process of installing that. Once that is installed, you're able to come to the run box and you type clean MGR. That launches the disk cleanup utility. That brings us back to this. So this is what the disk cleanup utility looks like. This is, like I said, the Windows tool with the SAS add-on for cleaning up SAS temporary files added. What I recommend that you do is come to preferences after you click on SAS temporary files, click on preferences and put in the location that you've assigned the SAS work folders to. That way you know that this, this cleanup utility is going to be cleaning out the right location. So we hit save on that and the final part of this is simply to run it. And the way you run it is you click OK and say delete files. And then this can take anywhere from a couple seconds to several minutes depending on how many files that you have to clean. Now this will be cleaning other items in Windows unless you uncheck them in addition to the SAS temporary file location or the, the work folder location. Okay, so at the end here, we have discovered where the work folder is. We've rerouted it to a new location. We've configured the Windows tool to accept the SAS add-on tool, and we've run the tool and cleaned out our SAS work folder. In, in a nutshell, that's how you do it.